Welcome back to my channel. I'm artist Jessica Cora Benson. If you are just tuning in, but you can just call me Jess down in the comments below. Jess, Jessie, Jessica, it's all the same to me. Welcome back. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing King Arts acrylic paints box sets of studio and professional. That is what I'm going to be doing a deep water dive into today. So without further ado, let's roll on with the review. So I basically purchased these so you guys wouldn't have to and you'll find out as to why later on in the video. So I got these from HomeSense. So they have a very small like my new art section in HomeSense. If you're not familiar with what it is, it sells everything from things like seasonal things. It's spring they'll be selling garden stuff. If it's autumn they're going to be selling Halloween stuff. Oh my god the Halloween stuff is absolutely epic every year and it sells out like super fast going off on a tangent here. But that was just a quick side note just wanted to let you guys know that I did purchase these out of my own money just to test the water a little bit with them. See if the professional lived up to a professional standard and to see if the studio was like a kind of beginner learner friendly set which I just automatically assumed it would be. Now you can see there's a bit of a price difference. The pro one's coming in at $24.99. I've left the retail price on just so you guys can see. And then the studio ones come in at $14.99. Now straight off the bat, when I turn these around, I can see that they've labeled the colors differently. Bear in mind there's more colors in one than there is the other and I'm pretty sure that's for obvious reasons because the studio set you want to learn, you want to have a dabble at, maybe you're not too sure how to use acrylics and you want to give them a go for the first time. There's going to be lesser colors from the color wheel than there is going to be in another box which is classed as professional. So that's straight off the bat what I'm looking at here. I'm just going to show you example. So here we have like the array of blues. So you've got you've got sky blue, cerulean blue, your sapphire blue, your cobalt blue, all the different blues. But then you go to the studio set, and you've got you you basically got let's have a look. Let's have a look. I mean, I mean that's just blue, and that could be any blue, but it's blue. That's helpful, isn't it? Then you've got your azure blue, which azure usually means sky, sky's opening. I actually did an original piece based on this name, which is really weird and ironic, but picked it up, that's what it says. So azure blue, which is kind of lighter in comparison to this blue. And you've got your sky blue, and then you go into your royal blue, your navy blue. I feel that they've definitely got the professional names right on the professional, obviously the professional focus. Hello, come back. Give me a minute, folks. There I can tell the difference. I mean, like on the on the professional one, like as well, you've got titanium white. And then on the studio one, it just says white. Same with the black as well. It's just black. And then with this one, which people typically know and like if you're familiar with acrylics and oils and all of that jazz, you've got your Mars. Mars black, which I like the separation that they've they've kept it simple for the studio, which I'd say is beginner learners. But like I say, I've not tried these out and not even come out of the wrapper yet. But straight away, I'm getting familiar with them just by looking at the boxes. So we have a little bit of information regarding the studio set on the back, as do we on the professional set. So I'm going to just read you a bit from the back of the studio set, which is the more simplified color chart. Acrylic water-based paint is non-toxic, dries quickly and produces rich, vivid colors. The texture makes painting easy on a variety of surfaces, including canvases, wood, paper, glass, fabric. Well, that's great. You can do a multitude of things with these acrylics, which you typically should be able to, and more. Our paints blend layer and mix brilliantly to produce unlimited shades for any project. Artists, creative enthusiasts, and beginners love King Art Paint. Do we? Have you guys ever heard of this? 
leave a comment down below if you have if you've ever heard of this brand i probably should have done as a professional but i i just i gotta say the main paints that i always use are liquitex golden acrylics windsor and newton these haven't really come into my genre of go-to's when it comes to acrylic painting 48 vivid colors rich pigments fit creamy finish non-toxic and fast drying blends and mix is easily we're going to try that out in just a sec let's move on to the professional so it all pretty much says the same thing on the professional box yep says exactly the same thing i'm just double checking over there yeah, we go quiet and just focusing. Pretty much the same thing. Our family has been exceeding the needs of the most demanding artists and enthusiasts for three generations. We delight in challenging the status quo and putting our experience to work for you. Designed in New York, made in China. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. I'm not sponsored in today's video, by the way, but that doesn't mean that I can't have a dabble at things. And I was really, really intrigued because I just want to know how good these paints are, how, how they hold up. Like an outer appearance of them. They're so tiny. So there's the professional, which I'll come back to. These do look more child friendly, just for the fact that like the pigment is jumping straight off that white background. White always comes across a little bit cheaper looking. So straight away, there's a separation between the professional and the, I don't like to use that word, cheap. So it just tells you the milliliter. Let's have a look at this one. Bright red. Bright red is swaying on the, on the label a bit more towards an orange. Now what I found that in the past is one, acrylic paints dry much more darker. And not only that, the colour doesn't always dry, like how the colour on the paint tube appears to be. But again, keeping it very, very simple with the colours on the paint tubes. Red, bright red. Dark orange. I'm presuming the other one next to it is just orange. Yep, yeah, it is. Orange. So we're not getting any like yellow ochre or anything like that. We're getting golden yellow, which to me, that would appeal more to me as if I was a child, you know, you're just getting them labeled very basic, very, very small, finite acrylic tubes. Let's see, actually, see how the screw caps. Okay, so that's the screw cap. So I'm going to have to pierce them like so okay so that's a bit fiddly straight away yeah that's really really tough to pierce so if you are a child ask an adult there we go ooh, 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 ooh. okay so that can get messy pretty quick I've had that trouble in the past where paints do do this and it gets very messy very very quick and they are usually Plastic cheaper brand. So yeah, straight off the bat, I'm not, not too, too keen on that with the screw caps. If I show you actually in comparison, our teaser, which I really, really do love working with our teaser. I do love the quality of them. And again, the opacity, the well, the very opaque colors to use. And I also do think that kids can use these. They are beginner friendly, but I do think you can push them to make the appearance of a beautiful piece of artwork. I mean, I don't, I've never grumbled with our teaser. Look at that straight away. Oh, from the other one, you know, from that one that we just opened. So I'm just about to open this one. It just screws off. Just right, there's no mess. 
don't like a messy paint tube when it does that. And I also didn't have to reopen these, like I didn't need to stab these to get into them. So they just screw on and off nicely. And that's from the set of 60 R teasers. There's your size. So you're getting 22 milliliters there with the premium R teaser acrylic colors. 12 milliliters. Don't think they're going to stretch very far. That's the box set of 60 acrylic paints by Arteza. Bearing in mind the 60 of these, and in the professional set, we've got 60. We've not got that far into the video yet to compare those ones, so we're just comparing again to the studio. So I've loosened them all up in the box. And just to show you that that's not just a one off again. Screw off. And oh, that was a fail. Hard on Jess. Where did your lid go, love? There it is. Ah, but see, no fallout. The lid fell off, but there was no fallout of paint. So this is all you need to bear in mind. And then it just screws on. I screwed that one up though, didn't I? Opening that lid. Right. So there you go. Again. Screw off. See that it's already open. Seal it back up properly, make sure that no air gets in there. And they came like that, which is great. To me, that's great. It makes it simple, there's less mess. You can see the mess that it's made straight away. I mean, there's no avoidance. I mean, if you're gonna be picking and pulling them out all the time, you're gonna be doing all your artwork and all of that. Again, maybe it's just the way I pierced it. Maybe you all have better luck than I do. But I feel that when you're pushing that down, you're sort of having to squeeze the bottle too. So again, I'm twisting that back on, but you've still got the paint at the top. And I've even just twisting that back on, caught the paint again on my hands. So this is gonna be a very ex messy experience. Um, yeah, so far, so not particularly good. And I'm thinking if you are going to give these as a beginner learner set to, say, I don't know, a, a seven plus year old. I mean, I'm not seven, look at that. I'm about to be in kindergarten again. So I'll put a paper towel at the side just so I can wipe off. I'm going to open all of these now. See how this goes. <laughs> Messy, messy. Okay, so I'm going to just open them in this lid. So if any mess that does fall out, I guess it's just going to go straight onto the top of the lid. I'm, really, I'm not really looking at making, keeping that any, I'm not looking at keeping the top lid special. I'm literally trying to break, you see what I mean? I'm literally trying to break these out, like break that seal without that happening. And no matter what I do, I can't avoid it. So I'm just gonna, straight away you've lost paint even if I do that, even if I try to clear my mess up. All right, I'm not gonna bore you as I'll put this on a time lapse. I'll like open them up. But in my experience as being an artist, I've never had, I've never had them be quite this fiddly. Yeah, I mean, some of them are a bit tougher than others as well. This is going to be a long review. Some of them puncture easier than others. Like that. Thank God. How long was that? And they're open, they're open. Let's, let, let, let's get down to the nitty gritty and swatch them. On the second layer of paints inside the box, you've got light brown, medium brown, brown, dark brown chocolate. The chocolate is actually darker than the dark brown. So this one, for example, yeah, is darker than this one. 
on the palette. Yeah, that says dark brown, that says chocolate. I just feel like they threw in like a bunch of like random names for hues. You know, like I feel like they just threw in these additional ones because I don't know, they may have run out of ideas as to which one ones to like pop in. I get how they would appeal to a younger, younger people. And you've got bright silver, bright gold, bright copper. I like the fact that they actually introduced some metallics into the set. And um, particularly if you do want to use them for fabrics or glass, like I mentioned, excuse me, like I mentioned earlier, then you've got gray, then you've got charcoal. Now, my issue with the blacks, I've not obviously swatched them yet, but my issue with the blacks is even on the tube, they both look the same. And on the palette where I've just put them, they both look the same. Now you'll see that I've actually sprayed my palette down just to keep them wet for longer because acrylics have a huge tendency for drying super, super fast. So I'm going to swatch these now and see, see how we get on. So straight away what I'm noticing is that you'd have to really, really work this paint in order to layer up. Because no matter how much paint that I put on my brush, it's still coming, like it's still appearing really transparent. You see that? You would have to really, really work this paint. It's not a very thick, heavy body. So regardless of how much I put on my brush, that's the results. That's the result that I'm getting. I think playing around with concept ideas in particular in a sketchbook. So anything from 100 plus GSM onwards. So it would take the acrylic paint well, would work with these. So if you just want to jot ideas down or just paint for fun, I wouldn't use these for clients or commissioners. There's a lot of blues and there's a lot of browns in this studio set. And I feel that a lot of them you could make if you obviously if you if you are professional and you know how to use the color wheel if you know how to mix your paints properly i don't think there's need for any of the additional ones that they have put in here i mean again there's not much difference in these in these three four i could easily make those see with acrylics you can water them down to become almost like a watercolor now I'm not adding too, too much water to the paint and I'm still getting a very, very, see that? Very, very thin consistency. If I add a bit more water, I can almost get it to appear, give the appearance of a watercolor. Again, very, very thin paint. And you see I'm getting my brush right on in there. And even on my palette, the paints are beginning to look very, very transparent. But there you go. Rushes right on in that green. Okay, flip it down. Yeah, paper's still showing through. Again, with the greens, I'm seeing a lot of similarities. Like this one and this one, you know. Yeah, that's the gold. Yeah, I mean, I can't even build that up. It's as though it's not even wanting to bind to the surface. That's the gold and it's very, very thin. And you'd think with these paints being capable for any surface, it wouldn't appear as thin as that or as transparent as that. And it doesn't stay on the tubes if any of these are transparent. I'm presuming that they've aimed them all at being opaque. Light fastness. Same with the copper loads on my brush and it's still, and just for the gray, gray's nice. See, that's really, really opaque, that gray. That is the most opaque paint in the set, is that gray. None of the paper is showing through underneath. <laughs> Don't know why that is. Okay, so the professional set of King Art I've got a titanium white here in my hand just to show you exactly the same screw cap. Not much difference. Okay, so exactly the same as before. Same screw cap. There's the part where you do your puncture straight back on. 
just to show you that they are pretty much the same apart from the silver outer casing outer shell it says the milliliter on the front again i don't feel that they needed to just leave the crown pattern for the titanium white on the front of this you put white on white why couldn't you put white on silver king art and they could have just put a white crown there i don't know why they've done it like that feel that there could be a little bit more information on these tubes because it doesn't really tell you the consistency of the paint. Is it opaque? Is it transparent? It doesn't even say on the box. Whereas with the Arteza ones, you are getting a variety of what the paints are. Considering that there's 60 of these two being a lot more smaller as well. But again, when I look at the set of 60 by Arteza, it's like you're getting more for your money with different colour varieties. Each variety being stretched as far as possible when it does come to the colour wheel. And you're getting a very thick, heavy body medium with Arteza than you are with these. I don't think the professional set of King Art should be priced at $24.99. I'd say more around the $16.99 mark. And that's, that's a compliment to the brand and i'm not one for giving bad art reviews but it's just my personal opinion on this one folks i still feel with the professional paints and it does state on the website as well that the professional ones children can use i still think with the professional paints that they're still more child friendly like i wouldn't buy these as a professional straight up i wouldn't typically go out of my way just to get these paints but again i feel like these are, are two boxes that are just going to be sat in my studio collecting dust for a while oh i hate saying that but y'all want me honest opinion and this is it i feel that the professional box slightly mimics the studio box the difference i can see is a little bit of higher pigmentation with the professional set and the studio one being less pigmentation and the king art pro there's just additional colors added in for the sake of than being added in. I don't, I think they just need to go back to the drawing board a little bit, think things out a little bit more better. Work on, I mean, you don't need so many browns in one set. And when I'm talking about browns, I'm talking about the studio one. In studio one, price, what price would I put that at? I don't think it's worth 14 99 I don't think it's worth anywhere near 14 99 I think that's a bit ridiculous for what it is. I'd say more like $9.99. Okay, so this is balsa wood. I would usually typically prime this and then do some smaller studies on it. However, just to see how the paint reacts to a piece of material, I thought I'd leave the wood bare and try to swatch, which I think is the most pigmented. The colour which I think is most pigmented out of the paint sets. So again I'm going to try a swatch of each of these out. So I've got red from the studio set, brilliant red from the professional set of King Art and then followed by the final brilliant red from our teaser. So I'm going to just try each individual one of these on here. For anybody that's quizzing how they respond on surfaces like this, then this is the closest thing that I could really think of to like experiment with. I don't really have any old jeans lying about, otherwise I probably would have tested. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to try it out on this wood panel. I personally think that you would have better success with these as a crafter, somebody that likes to work with other materials. On my palette, which is of course glass, they do appear thin in consistency. So whether they would work on glass, I wasn't really feeling that. But as instantly, as soon as I put these down onto the wood panel, I was pretty impressed actually because the wood didn't take anything away from the pigmentation, which typically if you paint on an unprimed surface, on an unprimed wood panel, 
you're going to get that paint seeping straight on in through to the wood and you'll get less pigment appearing on the surface. None of that happened here. Next day where this paint has fully dried, again there's not much more difference from like the Arteza compared to the other two that I put down and swatched but you can see now that the paint has really really seeped into the nooks and crannies of the wood so but again you always prime your surfaces but I just wanted to show you 24 hours after because wood has a tendency of you know, just different mediums act, react differently on different surfaces. So there you go. All right, my lovelies, that about wraps up my professional thoughts and overview, overlook at the King Art Supplies when it comes to the acrylic paints. Stay tuned for more because I do have a fair few more reviews up my sleeve and a lot more content coming to this channel. My main platforms now are pretty much YouTube and Instagram. And I'm just finding my feet a little bit still with TikTok. Thank you if you watch this video right the way through. He's a legend. Don't forget to hit the notification bell because that'll tell you each and every time that I do upload so you never miss a video. Have an awesome weekend. It's a blizzard here in the UK. Take care. Bye for now.